everybody. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic. I feel like it's been so long since I've picked up the camera and done this because it kind of has. And I apologize for that. It's just been super crazy around here. I kind of just took a little bit of break from vlogging. Um, just because, just focusing on um, the boys had the end of the year. They finished up uh, 11th grade and then summer hit and we've just been super super busy we have so much going on right now we are getting close to the birth of our baby boy that we're adopting super excited about that um we are having some remodeling done of our of our home excited about that too uh, one thing we're having done so we had our shower replaced in our master bathroom um, I'll show you guys when it's finished. It's almost there, but not quite. Which has been hectic because we can't use our bathroom. And I really hate that because I love because our bathroom is right in our, you know, off of our bedroom. And it's always, you know, really um, convenient just to be able to get up in the middle of the night and just, you know, go to the bathroom there and I have to go across the hall. Not a big deal. At least we have more than one bathroom. That would be really hectic if it wasn't. But yeah, we, we have a few bathrooms here. Um, we're also going to have these floors. We have marble floors and they're impossible to keep clean and shiny, uh, especially with so many people. We have right now, um, we have five people. Um, it's actually the birth mother of our baby and her children are staying over at our other house. But they've been coming here during the day to hang out and play and use the pool and just getting to know them because... I mean, face it, guys, you know, um, we are adopting the baby and he's going to be part, you know, he's going to be our family. So we want them to be part of our family, too. So it's like one big family. Um, this is an open adoption, an open private adoption is, is what we're doing. Um, we know the birth mother, the birth mother knows us. And now, like I said, we've been spending lots of time together. And so we've become sort of a, a family. Um, she has four children um, that we've becoming, um, you know, uh, very, very close to. Great kids, love them all. And um, yeah, so it's it's been quite, it's been a couple of weeks since they've been here and it's been hectic. And then we have more people coming next week. Jill and her family are coming down. Um, so we're gonna add those kids into the mix. So. We'll have seven kids, well, including the twins who aren't kids anymore because, guys, they are just days away from turning 18 years old. And I'm not ready. I'm not ready for them to be adults. I just, oh, I get so emotional because, you know, I, uh, they've given me such joy, such, such joy. I can't imagine my life without them. And, ah, they came along and they just, uh, they changed my life and they made me I want to say they made me a, a better person. They really, really did. Um, just watching them two grow up has just been like the greatest pleasure. I mean, I love all my children, but these twins are just, um, they're just amazing, amazing boys. Love them, love them so much. Um, uh, we've also um, had some not great news. Um, as you saw, uh, I posted a short, I moved the haircut, me. I posted a short, um, that Ender uh, isn't doing so well. He has cancer in, in his neck. It's making it exceedingly hard for him to breathe, um, to swallow. He's choking on all his food. Um, he's having problems, um, gastrointestinal problems. Jason and I were up uh, very, very early this morning cleaning that mess up. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been hard. Uh, Jason is not ready to let go of him yet, and I understand, I completely understand. So we're just playing it day by day and looking for a sign from Ender, you know, to let us know that he's he's ready to go, you know, that he's done. Um, here, I'll show you. So Ender's right here. Hey, buddy. Not feeling so good, are you? He has a hard time breathing, if you can hear him. Where he's laying down, I won't show you, but you can see on the side of his neck here, he has, he has really, really big, huge um, lumps on both sides of his neck. 
my sweetheart. So yeah, that's what we're dealing with right now with Ender. He pretty much just does this all day and then he kind of has little attacks where he really can't breathe very well. My sweetheart, yeah. So yeah, that's what's going on with him. And like I said, we'll just, we're gonna play it day by day, see how he is each day. Um, so uh, continuing with my story, we do have somebody coming in that's going to um, clean and buff and polish all these floors because they're beautiful floors. <laughs> they really are. Uh, we just wanted to be nice and super shiny and get the grout. The grout is probably the worst part. No matter how much I wash the floors, I can't seem to get the grout um, looking good. So they'll be able to do that for us. We've started um, baby stuff. We don't have a room for the baby right this second. We don't have a nursery. But we're gonna kinda turn this room. We're gonna turn this room um, into, an, because our bedroom is right over there. There, there, yeah, there. <laughs> our, bedroom's, our bedroom's on this floor. The baby's bedroom will be upstairs. But we didn't, I mean, we're not going to obviously put a newborn baby upstairs and be downstairs, even with a camera. So we're going to have him probably in our room for the most part. But then once he gets a little bit older and can, you know, sleep in his own room, we're going to use this room, this room here, for just um, his nursery uh, for the time being. We have so much stuff. This is a little dresser that Jason has to put together. Um, that's not his stroller, that's Charlie's stroller. But we've got all this stuff. We got some boppy pillows, we got bathtubs. We have these amazing little shirts. These are wonderful. Um, the birth mom actually made these. Um, these are great. Here's a little bear with his heartbeat. That's really cool. Got them all little passy. Got some blankets back there. Got some, um, we got these little, little mittens in case he tries to grab his face. We got some little outfits, little toys. Um, I got this, I mean, obviously he won't be using this yet, but our theme is um, Animal Kingdom, um, jungle theme. So this actually fit well with our theme. So I got him a bowl, a cup, and a little plate. He'll use that soon enough. Um, like I said, some little toys. We got some little burpee wrapper swaddler things. This is a snot sucker. Um, the name, ex I don't need to explain, do I? Um, there is a bottle brush, a little mitten he can chew on. I got some other things coming too. Little washcloths, some little toys back there. Um, got this yesterday. Got this off of Amazon um, Prime Day. It's a little, it's a sleeper. He can, he can lay it on. It's got a little cushion. I just hung it up here just to get it out of the way because we do have little ones that are around right now that um, have been playing in here. So this room's a little trash, but that's okay. And these, I mean, these plasma scooters have been a lifesaver. The kids absolutely love them. The two little ones absolutely love them they scoot around on these things i and i had that one already this is for bigger kids then i had this one already that was fins but then there's two little ones so i had to buy a second one um i don't know what we're gonna do when finn gets here i think she might be a little big for those though but anyway yeah so this is the room that we've been using the rug is all discombobulated because they they scoot around on here but i'm taking this rug out anyway it doesn't really uh, fit this room um, I just, I grabbed it off the buy nothing group and stuck it in here and uh, now I want it gone. <laughs> I'm going to put it back in the buy nothing group and give it to, pass it on to somebody else who might use it. Not sure what I'm going to do. Probably going to do like that cushiony interlocking stuff for when the baby gets a little bit bigger. And then we'll probably have a little gated area in here so that he can play comfortably. You don't have to worry about him getting in trouble. But yeah, this is um, supposed to be a dining room. We never actually use it as a dining room. It kind of became Finley's playroom, Finley and Cadigan's playroom. And now we're just going to use it for um, the baby uh, for now. And then eventually we'll move him upstairs to his, his very own room. What we got going on so far, guys? Very, very excited. Um, we're just weeks away, weeks away from having our little, our little boy. 
So that's that's what's going on. Um, yeah, what's going on with you guys? Talk to me in the comments. Let me know what you guys have been doing this summer. Have you done anything great? Anything special? Anything fun? Um, you know, got any uh, rumors? I like to hear a good rumor. Jokes. I like to hear a good joke. So yeah, let me know what's going on. Um, not sure if I'll vlog anymore today because, oh, we've got updated. Oh, this is an updated picture of the of our little guy. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll be able to vlog today because um, the kids are all coming over. I'm going to cook up some steaks and probably go in the pool for a little bit. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But if I don't talk to you guys, um, you know, at the end of this video, hope you're having a great summer. Um, yeah, and make sure you give the video a like. And uh, we'll see you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, um, it's just me. I'm just doing a little bit of post-production um, update. So, sadly, um, early this morning, we uh, lost Ender. He was just increasingly um, having a hard time breathing and we just saw him kind of declining. Um, he had a few good days where he really tricked us into thinking, you know, maybe he's, he's going to hang on for a little bit longer. But we're not sure what happened. But last night, probably around 1030 or so, he just was really, really struggling to breathe. Um, we knew then that we were losing him. And um, he hung on till about quarter, I'd say about quarter one um, in the morning, uh, he finally passed away and so um yeah it's 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 a rough day i do have more footage of him today's vlog um, won't be the last you'll see of ender i do have one more one more vlog um about ender but i did want to update you guys at the end of this video to let you know that um that he's 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 at peace now um no more no more suffering for ender he fought really really hard he was such a good dog really really good dog and we could tell he didn't want to leave us, but, um, you know, it, he got sick. He got sick, guys, and, um, you know, it was it was his time to go. So, anyway, um, thank you guys for, for all your support and all your kind words throughout this. We really, really appreciate it. Love all you guys. And, again, like I said, there will be one more vlog after this that has Ender in it. Um, and we would definitely do appreciate all your kind words. Um, and I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.